Hi everybody, it's Crystal. So today I'm going to show you how to make this little dress here with the apron. So I'm going to set my camera down and show you a little bit about it. Let you look at it here. <clears throat> so it's got the apron on the front of it. Now the apron is detachable. It's not meant, the strings are not meant, you can tie them in a bow if you want, but I kind of just meant them to tie in a little loose knot here so they would hang lower. But you can do it either way. But they tie up on both sides. And the apron <coughs> can be taken off just like that. And then you have another dress here you could wear. Just like that. Let's be straighten out a bit, but if you choose to wear it that way. Now the back has is buttoned up with four buttons. These buttons are 5 8 inch buttons. So you will need four 5 8 inch buttons for this pattern. When you want, and the, the, the double crochet rows are used to button them. If you look, you'll see there is a two flap, or a three, um, three stitch over flap, and that's what the buttons are attached to. And then this flaps over, and then they attach to that. So 5 8 inch, four of them. You could probably use smaller, a little bit smaller if you wanted to. So that's what it looks like. And it looks the same in the front as it does in the back with the apron on it. The apron looks the same both ways. I should have showed you that, but before I took the apron off, but this is how it looks in the back with the apron. Same as it does in the front. Other than it's got the little, you'll be able to see a button or two. But that's the dress. Now, I have it where it'll fit. I'm going to move it out of the way. Two sizes. The only difference you need to do is, in the sizes, is change the hook. Okay, I'll go over that real quick. Okay, to fit a size 2, 2 to 3, 2T, 3T, you want to use a G, which is a, it's not focusing in, it's a 4.25, or sometimes Gs are 4.50. Either one. And that will fit. You can just make the pattern exactly like I did because that's what I did. I used the 4.25 or like I said a 4.5 is will work too. Um, and that's for a size 2-3. Now you can also make it for a size 4-5. Uh, what you want to do is use an H, a 5 millimeter. You want to do it exactly like me except for when you get to the length you're going to need to add uh, a couple, 2 to 3 more inches in length. And the apron also, you'll need to add length to that. I don't know exactly how much. I'm just guessing probably two to three inches if you have your child there to um, try it on. That would be best. But other than that, other than the length you need to add to it, um, you follow everything else the same. So 4T, 5T is a five millimeter. Now, I can't promise it. But if you use an eye, a five and a half millimeter, you might be able to get a six, seven out of it. You would just need to add quite a bit more length than what's on it. Um, I mean, you can try that. I don't see no reason why it wouldn't work, but I cannot guarantee it. So if someone wants, if someone does give that a try and you know, you follow the same pattern, but you use the eye for a six, seven, and you just make it a lot longer, please let me know in the comments. That way I can adjust my video and tell people, yes, that does work. I would not recommend using any smaller of a hook than a G 4.25. I would not go no lower than a 2, 3, 2T, 3T because the neck and everything is just going to be too big and I don't have any smaller sizes available. So um, now I'll show you the yarn that I use. So I want to say a uh, special thanks to Red Heart for providing today's yarn for me. Today I'm using their Red Heart Dreamy yarn. It is a bulky number five. It's super soft. It is a 100% acrylic yarn. But it does have a little bit of a fuzz to it. And that's what's neat about it. It kind of looks wooly, but there's no wool in it. And it's really soft. 
and like I said it is bulky number five now the colors that I used was um, celery which is the green there's 466 yards per skein and I used about a skein and a half of the green and the other color that I used for the apron was called ivory and I used about a complete skein for that so if you are making a the bigger size you'll you might need to skein to that to make your apron longer um, but otherwise if you're following me for the 3t 4t or 2, 3, 2t 3t size I used a skein and a half of my main color and then almost a full skein of the apron color and I will put a link in the description box of where you can purchase this yarn and also don't forget to check out redheart.com where there's thousands of free crochet patterns and knitting patterns for you to choose from I'm sure you'll find something there that you like so let's go ahead and get started on this also, I want to take a second not to forget to you not to forget to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, if you subscribe and hit that bell button, or you've already subscribed, you can go back and hit the bell button, and you'll always be notified every time I put on a new tutorial because you don't want to miss out on any of these. And if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you could give it maybe a share on uh, Facebook or Pinterest, and maybe give the video a like. Okay, you want to start out with a chain of 69. Now once you get your chain of 69 made, we're going to do a double crochet in the fourth stitch from the hook. So one, two, three, four. In the fourth stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. And now we're going to do one double crochet into the next 10 stitches. Okay, there's 10. Now we did the 10 stitches there. Now what we're going to do, you should have a total of 12 after you did that 10. So we did the 10 plus the one that we double crocheted and the four stitch from the hook. And then this chain right here, it counts as a double crochet too. So if you count back, you'll have 12 now. Now what we're going to do is a chain of two, one, two. And now we're going to do one double crochet into the next 15 stitches. So go right to the next stitch and double crochet. We want to do 15 in a row. So that's one, two, three, four. Okay, I did 15 double crochets in a row. Now we're going to chain two again. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to do 15 double crochets again. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, I did my 15 in a row again. So I'm going to chain two and I'm going to do it one more time. 15 double crochet again. Starting with the next stitch, we do 15 double crochet. So there's one, two, three, four. Okay, I've done my 15 again. Now we're going to chain two one more time. And now we're going to put one double crochet in the remaining 10 stitches. Okay, at the end of row one, you should have 67 stitches. 
and that is counting this little chain here on the end. He counts as a stitch. So 67 for row one. So for row two, we are going to chain one and turn our work. Now what we're gonna do is put one double crochet right back here into the same stitch. And now we're gonna work a back post double crochet in the next stitch. So you gotta yarn over, go around the post from the back, so the post is on the back of your work, and then do your double crochet. And now we're gonna do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then we'll do a back post double around the next stitch. So we yarn over, go around the post from the back side. So the post is on the back of your hook. And then do your double crochet. And now we're going to do a regular double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then it would be a back post double crochet into the next. So we're just going to repeat this until we get to our first chain two space. Regular double into the top of the next. And then a back post double around the next. A regular double on top of the next. And your last stitch should be a back post double. Just like that. And now we're at our chain two space. So what we want to do in the chain two space is we're going to work, go through the space and we're going to work two doubles. A chain of two and then two more doubles all into that same chain space and now we're going to start again we're going to start off by working a back post double around the first stitch here and then a regular double crochet in top of the next And then a back post double around the next. And then a regular double on top of the next. And we're just going to repeat this until we get to our next chain two space. Okay, I made it to my next chain two space. The last stitch should have been a back post a double crochet. So we're going to go into the chain, chain two space and do the same thing. We're going to work two doubles, a chain of two, and then two more doubles, all into that chain space. And now we're going to start again with the back post double crochet. That back post is always the hardest. For me anyways. And then we do a regular double crochet into the top of the next. So we're going to repeat what we just did. Back post double around the next. And then a regular double into the top of the next. And you want to repeat this until you get to your next chain two space. Okay, I made it to my chain two space. Your last stitch should have been a back post double. Go ahead and do a do two double crochet into the chain space, a chain two, and two more double crochet. And now we're going to repeat that again. We're going to start with the back post double around the first stitch. And regular double into the top of the next. And then a back post double. And a regular double. And we're going to do that until we get to our next chain two space. 
Okay, I made it to my next chain two space. Again, last stitch should have been a back post double. Go ahead and do you in your chain two space, two doubles, a chain of two, and two more doubles. Okay, now starting with the back post double crochet again into the next stitch. And then regular double crochet into the next. And then back post double again. And then regular into the next. We want to repeat this until we get to our last two stitches. Okay, I've made it to my last two stitches. Now my last stitch was a regular double crochet. And I also want to put a regular double crochet in these last two stitches. So one here. And then the last one will be into the top of this chain space here. Or this chain little, this little chain here. Just like that. And that will end around two. And you should have a total of 83 stitches now. And these three double crochets that are right here in a row. Now that's going to be our button flap that I showed you in the beginning. That's where we're going to sew the buttons on later. So we'll start row three by chaining one and turning. Now we're going to put... A double crochet into that very first stitch and the double crochet in each of these next two double crochets and now we're going to be working front post double crochet so you can see here's the post from the previous row we're going to do a front post double crochet around the post and then the next one will be a regular double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. And then a regular double crochet. Front post double. And a regular double. And we just repeat this until we get to our chain two space front post and then regular front post and then regular and your last stitch here should be a front post double crochet just like that so now we're going to do what we do in our chain two spaces we're going to do two doubles chain two and two more doubles now we're going to start off with a front post double crochet into the first stitch and then a regular double crochet into the next front post double you'll be able to see that the posts always line up and then a regular double front post and then regular and we want to do that until we get to our next chain two space okay I made it to my next chain two space your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet so we're gonna go ahead and do in the chain two space our two doubles chain two and two more doubles start off with the front post double crochet into the first stitch and then a regular double crochet into the next front post double and then a regular double so we're going to repeat this so we get to our next chain two space okay I made it to my next chain two space the last stitch should have been a front post double so I'm going to go into my chain two space and work my two doubles a chain of two and two more doubles oh. and then I'm going to repeat what we just did so we start off with the front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet into the next 
front post double crochet and a regular double into the next. So go ahead and repeat this pattern until you get to your next chain two space. Okay, I made it to my next chain two space and again, your last stitch should have been the front post double. So go ahead and go into the chain two space and work your two doubles. A chain of two and two more double crochets. Now we're going to start here, first stitch, front post double crochet, oh. see how many times I can drop that stitch, there we go, now back post, or I'm sorry, now regular double crochet into the next, and then front post double, and then regular double. And we're gonna repeat this pattern until we get to the end of the row. Okay, when you make it to the end of row three, your last stitch should have just been a regular double crochet and you should have a total of 99 stitches now. So for round four, we're just gonna chain one and turn our work. Now, since we're working on the back side, we're going to be working back post doubles again. So we're going to go ahead and do a regular double crochet into the first stitch. And then a back post double around the next stitch. Regular double into the next and back post double into the next. So we're going to repeat this regular double and back post double until we get to our first chain two space. When you flip your work around you can see the posts are staying lined up and that's what you want. So go ahead and repeat this pattern until you get to your first chain two space. Okay, your last stitch should have been a back post double crochet and now we're going to work in our chain two space by working two doubles, a chain two, and two more doubles. Just like that. And now we're going to start off working a back post double crochet. and then a regular double crochet, back post double crochet, and a regular double crochet. And we're going to repeat that till we get to our next chain two space. Okay, I've made it to my next chain two space. Your last stitch should have been a back post double. So in the chain two space, you want to work two doubles, chain of two, and two more double crochets. And again, we're going to repeat that last round. We're going to start off with a back post double crochet in the first stitch. And then a regular double crochet into the next. So we're going to repeat that what we just did all the way until we get to the chain two space. And then we do our two doubles, chain two and two doubles. And then we repeat it again until the next chain two space. So I will meet you at the last chain two space. We're just repeating what we just did. So back post double, regular double, back post double, regular double until we get to our chain two space. Then we do our two doubles, chain two, two doubles, and then we start off again with the back post double, regular double, all the way to this last chain two space. Okay, I, I've made it to my last chain two space and I went ahead and put two double crochet, chain two and two double crochet. Now I'm gonna continue by putting a back post double around my first stitch here and then regular double into the next back post double and regular just like we've been doing and we're going to do this until we get to our last two stitches of the row
Okay, once you make it to the last two stitches, you should have just a regular double crochet here, and you want to put a regular double crochet into the last two, because remember, this is going to be our button row where we tie our buttons on, like that. And now you should have a total of 115 stitches at the end of row four. So for row five, we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're going to be working front post, double crochets this time, but we need to go ahead and put a double crochet into the very first stitch and a regular double crochet into, into, the, into the top of the next two stitches since this is where our buttonhole row is. And now the next stitch will be a front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet and then a front post double crochet Man, I'm having trouble with my post stitches today and then a regular double crochet and then a front post and we just do this until we get to our first chain two space Okay, I made it to my first chain two space. Your last stitch should have been a front post double crochet. So we're gonna work our chain two space. Two doubles, chain two, and two more doubles. Oh. I'm just having a time today with this. I don't know why. <laughs> I think it's the small hook I'm using. I don't usually use real small ones like this. Okay, now we start off with a front post double crochet into the first stitch and then a regular double crochet into the next and then a front post double and a regular double and we're going to repeat this all the way until we get to our first chain two space and then when we get there we just put our two double crochet chain two two double crochet and then we repeat it again to our next chain two space and then we put two double chain two two double and then we repeat it one more time until we get to our last chain two space so front post double regular double front post and regular all the way to our chain two space like i said then we do what we do in our do our two doubles chain two two doubles and repeat all the way until we get i'll meet you at our last chain two space okay i made it to my last chain two space and i did two doubles chain two and two doubles and now i'm just gonna keep following my pattern i'm going to do front post double crochet into the first stitch and a regular double crochet into the next and then front post double and regular double. I'm going to repeat this until I get to the end. Okay, I've made it to the end of row five. Your last stitch should have been a, just a regular double crochet and you should have a total of 131 stitches now. Now we're going to do our armholes. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. We're going to work one regular double crochet into the very first stitch. And then back post double around the next stitch. And then a regular double crochet. And then a back post double. And we're going to repeat this until we get to our first chain two space okay I've made it to my first chain two space and my last stitch was a back post double crochet now in my chain two space I'm just gonna work one double crochet just like that just one regular double crochet now I'm gonna skip all these stitches and I'm gonna go to the next chain two space and I'm gonna work two double crochets into this chain two space so it was just one double in that first chain two space and now this one is two doubles just like that 
And now I'm going to put a back post double crochet into the next stitch. And then a front post double, or a, I'm sorry, a regular double into the next. A back post double. And then a regular double. So we made our first armhole. You can see it right here. We're not going to do anything with these stitches right now. Those are, we'll do something with them later. So this can keep continuing your pattern of a back post double. And a regular double until you get to your next chain two space and I will meet you there. Okay, when you make it to your next chain two space, your last stitch should have been a back post double. You want to put two double crochets into the chain space. Two doubles. And then we're going to skip all these stitches here. And into the next chain two space, we're just going to put one double. Just like that. And now we're going to continue our pattern until we get to the end here. Uh, we're going to start with... Um, back post double crochet into the first stitch oops I just did a front post a back post double crochet sorry into the first stitch and then a regular double into the top of the next stitch and then back post double regular double back post double all the way till you get to your last two stitches Okay, when you get to your last two stitches, this should have been a regular double. Just go ahead and put a regular double into the last two now. Like that. And that will end around six. It's not counting these um, stitches here that we skipped for the armhole. So we're going to start round seven. We're going to chain one and turn. Now you can poke your armholes out the right way to where the ribs are facing out right. Just like that okay now we're going to put a double crochet in the first stitch a double crochet in the next two because this is our buttonhole flap and then we're going to do a front post double crochet into the next and then a regular double crochet into the next and then a front post And we're going to continue this pattern all the way around. So when you come over here to your, uh, there's no more chain two spaces to skip. So you just continue the pattern all the way around, even through this, through these st stitches right here of the armhole. You just continue it all the way around until you get to back to the other side. Okay, I made it to the end of. Uh, row seven and you still should have 75 stitches so we're just going to chain one and turn and we're going to repeat that except for we're going to do back posts this time so single crochet or double crochet into the very first stitch and then back post double crochet into the next stitch and then regular double crochet and then back post double crochet regular double and back post and we're going to do this until we get to the end of row eight just keep repeating regular double crochet and back post double crochet Okay, I'm coming to the end of row eight and remember your last three stitches should all be regular double crochets because it's the buttonhole row. 75 stitches still. Now row nine, chain one and turn. That's the last row of back post double crochet that we have to do. So that's pretty exciting because I don't really enjoy doing them. So. <laughs> <laughs> that should be pretty exciting. Now we're just going to repeat this again, only we're going to be using a front post double crochet this time. So we're going to double crochet in the first stitch, and since this is the buttonhole row, we need to do 
one double crochet in each of the next two stitches like that and now we do a front post double crochet and a back post or regular double crochet and a front post and a regular and we just repeat this until we get to the end of the row like that okay I made it to the end of round nine and I have um, 75 stitches now what we're gonna do is we're going to start the skirt of the dress so we're gonna slip stitch over here and we're gonna slip stitch in the we're gonna skip these three stitches of the um, button flap and slip stitch into this first front post triple or front post double crochet like that now we're gonna start the skirt we're gonna chain one and then we're going to do a front post double crochet around that first stitch like that and then in the next stitch we're going to put three double crochets just regular doubles so there's one two and three and then we're going to front post double crochet around the next post and then we're going to put three double crochets into the next double crochet and then front post double crochet around the next stitch and we're going to repeat this three double crochets into the next double crochet and then front post double crochet around the next three double crochets into the next double and front post double around the next so we're going to repeat this all the way around until we get back to the beginning now this flap right here we're not doing anything with that anymore not right now so we're not stitching into it anymore we're just going to work around to here okay once you make it around the end of row 10 you should have a hundred and forty four stitches now you want to end with a slip stitch into this first um, top of this first front post double crochet now row or round 11 is the repeat round so what we do is we just chain one this is what we're going to do for the rest of the skirt we chain one and we do a front post double crochet back into that same back into this front post double crochet here and it's one double crochet in every stitch until you get to your next front post double crochet so there's three of them in a row one double crochet in the next three and then front post double crochet around the next front or regular double crochet in each of these three stitches and then front post double crochet around the next so it's real easy now one double crochet into the next three front post double crochet around the next post so we're going to repeat that all the way around when we get back to the beginning you'll still have 144 stitches every time you just slip stitch into this first front post double crochet and repeat chain one front post again double crochet in these three front post double crochet in three front post and you just want to keep repeating that uh, this round 11 until you reach a total of 38 rounds and that includes we're counting from round one round one we're on 11 you want to go to 38 and you can adjust you can make it shorter if you want or you're going to need to make it longer if you're doing it for a bigger child but i did 38 rows for mine 
Okay, once you get your piece, as long as you want it, remember if you're doing the um, a bigger size, like a four or five, um, you might need to add additional um, couple inches in length, maybe. That would be my suggestion. But after you get it the length that you need it to be, um, you want to chain one. And now I'm going to go back into the same stitch and just do a single crochet. And I'm going to work one single crochet in every single stitch around. No more post stitches right now. It's just one single in every stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Just like that. Okay, whenever you make it back around, you still you should have 144 stitches still. Just go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not the chain one, but the first single. And then I'm going to clip this collar off. Like that. And now I'm going to add my edging collar. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to do a row of single crochet. But I'm going to do it in my... Uh, cream colored yarn or the white whatever it is here so I'm just kind of start in the same spot that I just uh, slip stitched into so just go right in there start your yarn and chain one go back into that same stitch and single crochet and now I'm just gonna work across putting one single crochet in every stitch just like we did on the previous round but I'm just doing it with the other color this time just like this so when you make it back around to the beginning you still should have your 144 uh, stitches Okay, when you make it all the way around with that row of the edging color, just go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. And then we'll tie that off and hide, oh, hide that tail. And I'll do that in a minute. Okay, let's see what we got now. Okay, now let's work on the, so this is kind of starting to look like, just simple edging. So now we're going to work on the neck up here. So let me get it turned around. Now, you'll see that there's the flap here, and this flap is where we will sew our buttons on later. So we'll sew the buttons on here, and then we will use these double crochets over here as buttonholes. So we're going to go around the neck right now. I'm going to go back to my main color, which is my green celery color that I chose. And you want to start, flip your dress over like this. Right back here. I'm oh, sorry about that. Right back here. Uh, in this very first stitch. You can see this is where we first started. We're going to start right back into that first stitch. Because we want our stitches to be facing uh, the right side as we go around. So just go ahead and start right there into that stitch. I'm going to fold my dress in half here so you can see a little better. Go ahead and start in that one and then chain one. I'm going to go back into that same stitch and do a single crochet like that and now I'm going to work around doing one single crochet in every stitch all along the top of the, the collar. So this is going to edge the collar and make it nice and clean. I'm going to hide these tails as I go to the less weaving in later, the better I think. I'm sure you all can agree with me on that. When you get to these little, these spaces here, don't go into the space. Uh, just go to the stitches like that like there's a stitch here and a stitch here don't go into the space just follow along with the stitches
Okay, so I'm going to continue doing that one single crochet all the way around the front and then back around this back until I get back right over here to the other side. Okay, once you made it all the way back around and you're over here to the other side and you did a single crochet into that last stitch, go ahead and clip that yarn off. Pull it through there. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do it with my white color. So again, I'm just going to move my dress and I'm going to start in the same spot that I started my main color in. I'm going to fold my dress up so you can see it better here. So I'm just coming back right over here where we started and I am going to use my white starting that same stitch. Now this time what I'm going to do is chain one. But I'm going to jump to the, instead of going back and single crocheting in that same stitch, I'm just going to jump to the next stitch and do a single crochet. Like that. And I'm going to work around the same way I just did my main color of yarn. Doing one single crochet in every stitch. Until I get back around to the other side. So the next just going to be like the bottom, just a simple straight uh, clean white edging. I didn't want to add a lot of frilly uh, white edging because since it's going to have the apron and it's going to be white I didn't really want to take away from the apron. So I thought maybe just a simple uh, line of white would be sufficient to make it look pretty. I hope it, I hope it works out okay. So I'm going to continue with my white, just like I just did, my green, all the way around the front, back over here until I get over here. Okay, when you make it back to the other side, what you want to do is just go ahead and end with the slip stitch into the last stitch this time. Just like that. And then we'll tie this off. Oh, and now we're going to go ahead and hide any... I'm going to hide these tails and then we'll get started on the sleeves. Okay, when you look at the sleeve, you see this chain 2 space right here. That's where we're going to start our yarn. You can see these chain 2 spaces. We're going to start right into this one. And we're going to chain 1 and we're going to go back into that same spot and do a double crochet. So right there into that chain 2 space like that. Now we're going to do a couple double crochet decreases. So if you look right here there's a bunch of kind of gappy holes and everything. See this big hole right here? We're going to yarn over the one right next to this chain space that we just went into. Yarn over, go right through that space and draw up a loop and yarn over and go through first two loops on your hook. Now we're going to go into this little space right here right next to it little space so we're going to yarn over just go right into that little space draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two and now we're going to yarn over and go through all three so that was a double crochet decrease that took them two spaces there and made it into one stitch now we're going to do it again so we're going to yarn over and we're going to go into this big open space next to this stitch that we went into last and draw up a loop yarn over and go through the first two loops on your hook and then we're going to yarn over and go into right here if you look you'll see there's the side of this double crochet right here's the chain two space right here go right through that double crochet and drop a loop yarn over and go through the first two and then yarn over and go through all three now, if you can't get the exact same spots that I did, just kind of get, you know, somewhere close. But you should be able to see them spots pretty good. Now, here's the chain 2 space on the other side. So we're going to put one double crochet into that. Now what we're going to do is do a... We're going to start doing our post stitches. So the next stitch has to be a front post double crochet. And then the next stitch is a regular double crochet. And then the next one is a front post double crochet. And then the next one is a regular. And you can tell they're lining up now with the post stitches from 
from up here. Then post stitch. And then a regular double crochet. And then the front post stitch. And then the regular double crochet. So we're going to repeat this just doing the regular double crochet and then the post double crochet all the way around the sleeve until we get back over here to where we started. Okay, I'm coming back around and I did a front post double. Here's where we started right over here. So the next stitch will be a regular double crochet. And then the last stitch before you get to your starting stitch here will be a front post double crochet. And then you can end with the slip stitch into your first double crochet and you should have 35 stitches now. I like that. Okay, now we're going to do it again. So we are going to chain one and we're going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch. Now we're going to do a double crochet decrease over the next two stitches. <clears throat> so we're double crochet decreasing over the last, over the two double crochet decreases from the previous round. So we're going to yarn over, go into the first stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two loops. Then we're going to yarn over and go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through the first two, and yarn over and go through all three. Now the next stitch is just going to be a regular double crochet. And then the next stitch you can tell is a front post double crochet. And then a regular double crochet. And then a front post double crochet. So now I'm just repeating the uh, regular double crochet and the front post double crochet again all the way around until I get back to the beginning or where we started. The first stitch of our sleeve. We're just keeping these post stitches lined up. Just like that. See if you see everything staying nice and lined up. Okay, I've made it back to the beginning and now I should have 34 stitches. My last stitch was the front post double, so I'm going to go in and with the slip stitch into my first double crochet. Now I'm going to start again by chaining one, going back into that same stitch and putting a double crochet. Now the next stitch is where we did the um, um, double crochet decrease. What we're going to do is do a front post double crochet around that. So just yarn over and go right around it, both, both of them like that, and then do your double crochet your front post double crochet like that and then we're just going to kind of keep repeating so the next stitch is going to be a regular double crochet and the next one will be a front post double crochet and then regular double crochet and a front post double crochet so we're just going to keep repeating that keeping all of our posts lined up until we get back around to the beginning when you get back around, you still should have 34 stitches. Okay, I've made it back around. 34 stitches still. My last stitch was a front post double crochet. I'm going to end with a slip stitch into my beginning double crochet. Now I'm going to repeat that row one more time. So I'm going to chain one, go back into the same stitch, and double crochet. And then the next stitch will be a front post double crochet and then a regular double crochet and then front post double crochet and regular so i'm just going to keep repeating the front post double and the regular double crochet alternating keeping my post lined up just doing what we did the previous row until we get back around to the beginning. Okay, when you make it back around, you should have ended in front post double crochet, just like normal, 34 stitches. In with the slip stitch into your first double crochet. Now we're going to start working single crochets. 
So we're going to chain one and we're going to go back into that same stitch and work a single crochet. Now we're going to do a single crochet decrease over the next two stitches. So we're going to go into the next stitch and drop a loop and then we'll go into the next one and drop a loop and yarn over and go through all three loops. So that took two stitches and made it into one. So we're going to put one single crochet in the next and then a single crochet decrease over the next two. So go in the next stitch, drop a loop and then the next one, drop a loop, yarn over and go through all three and then a regular single crochet into the next single crochet decrease over over the next two and then a regular single into the next so we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around single crochet decrease and then a regular single crochet and then the single crochet decrease and then a regular single crochet repeat that all the way around until you get back to your starting point Okay, when you make it all the way around, I just did a single crochet decrease and you'll have one stitch that remains. Just go ahead and put one single crochet in it. And then we're going to end with a slip stitch into our first single crochet. Like that. Now you should have 23 stitches. So what I'm going to do is chain one, go back into the same stitch and single crochet. And now I'm just going to work one single crochet in every stitch around. No more decreasing. So one single every stitch around, back to your beginning, and you still should have 23 stitches when you make it back around. Okay, I've made it back around, 23 stitches, in with a slip stitch into your first single crochet. And now I'm going to chain one and repeat that round one more time. So I'm gonna go back into the same stitch and single crochet and work one single crochet in every stitch all the way around. Just one more time here. We're just repeating that last row. When you get back around, you still should have 23 stitches. Okay, I've made it back around, so I'm gonna end with a slip stitch into my first single crochet, and I'm gonna tie this collar up, and I'm going to attach my uh, uh, edging color now and I'm just going to do one row of single crochet with the edge so I'm just going to start where I left off here start my yarn in that same stitch and I'm going to chain one now go back into the same stitch and single crochet and now just work one single crochet in every stitch with your edging color so it's the same thing we just switched colors all the way around until you get back to the beginning and you'll have 23 stitches still when you get back around I'm having trouble maneuvering this dress around my desk and the camera. It's kind of long and big. So just like that until you get back to the beginning. And when you make it back around, just like always, we're going to end with a slip stitch into our first single crochet and tie that trim collar off. Now I'm going to take a moment to hide these tails and then we'll go ahead and sew the buttons on. Okay, you want to sew the buttons on this flap that hangs over here. So I'm going to use five buttons and I'm going to sew one right here on this very first row of double crochet. And I am using um, yarn and a yarn needle. Now you can use thread, regular thread, if you prefer. I just don't, I don't have any thread at the moment, so for some reason. But just go ahead and sew them on like you would normally sew on a button and I'm gonna put five you can put more or less but like this I 
Actually, I think I'm just going to put four. I was going to put five, but I'm going to put one at the very bottom, and then I'll space out my other ones. So one at the very top, and one at the very bottom, and then put the other two kind of evenly in between. That's how I'm going to do mine. Now, you can do more or less buttons if you want. That's it's up to you. But and then just go ahead and sew them on like you'd normally sew on a button. Okay, then and once you get your button sewed on, you'll be able to this flat blaze on the bottom and then this one folds over and you can just use these double crochet spaces over here to button it up. Like that. So that's how that works on the back there buttoned up so I'm gonna set here that's what it looks like so far there's the back and here's the front so I'm gonna set it to the side and we're gonna start on the apron so I'm gonna move this because we're done with this part finally that seemed like it took a long time I don't know about you but it seemed like it took a while but now we'll go ahead and we'll get started on the apron Okay, for the apron, it's made in two separate pieces, and then we will connect the pieces together. So you want to start off with a chain of 76. Now this includes, part of this includes the ties. That'll be around the side. So 76, and then you want to do a single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. And then we're going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. Just like this. And when you get to the end of the row, or the, to the end of the chain, you should have a total of 75 stitches. Okay, once you make it to the end, and you have your 75 stitches you want to go ahead and clip your yarn and tie it off like that now we're going to go back down to this end over here and we want to count over 26 stitches one two three four five And then that 26th stitch is where we'll start our yarn. So just go ahead and start your yarn in that 26th stitch over. Chain 1. Now what we're going to do is go back into that same stitch and we're going to work 3 double crochets into that same stitch. So this is going to be the skirt part of the apron. Just like that. Now we want to work three double crochets over 25 stitches. So this would be our first one. So we'll, when we get to the end, after we work three double crochets over 25 stitches, we'll have 75 double crochets. But just go ahead and continue working three double crochets in each stitch over 25 stitches. So that was two stitches I worked in. And I put three doubles. So I'm going to work, work the next one and put three doubles. So that was three stitches. And the next one, three doubles. Got my tail up in there. So that was four stitches. So I'm just going to continue like that. Three stitches in every stitch until I've reached 25 stitches that I've worked over. Okay, once you've worked your three double crochets over 25 stitches, you should have 75 double crochets now. And you'll have 25 stitches that remain. So these 25 stitches here, 
and then the 25 stitches in the beginning that we skipped are going to work as the ties on the side. So now what we're going to do is chain one, turn our work, and now we're just going to put one double crochet into this very first stitch here. And then it's one double crochet in every stitch across. So now we're just going to be working rows of one double crochet in every stitch for the length of the apron. Now it's going to get kind of curly on you and that's fine. It's supposed to do that until you get some length on it and then it'll start to just kind of be a little bit of a wave. Instead of, see how curly it is? It's, it's going to be like that so you're not doing nothing wrong. So just continue working rows of one double crochet in every stitch. When you get to the end of the row here you'll have 75 stitches. You just chain one and turn and then you continue working another row of one double crochet in every stitch. 75 stitches at the end of every row. And we're going to do this until we get the length that we want our apron to be. Okay, you want to do a total of uh, 16 rows of one double crochet in every stitch. So, and that's not counting that very first row where we put three double crochets in. So counting that one, that one and then the 16, you'll have 17 rows here. Now you might need to, if you're doing it for the larger size, you might need to add more rows to it to make it match up to the, your size of the dress. But we'll go ahead and tie off here. Like that. Now we're going to start up here. Now you want the right side facing you. The right side would be the last row that we did. Make it where it's facing you. The right side of it is facing up. So you can see here's the right side, this last row I did. That's what we want to be the right side of our work. The first row of double crochet we did is facing us. So that's going to be the right side. And now we're going to start and do the little top part. And we're going to start in the same stitch that we started. Okay, here's where we put our three um, double crochet. We want to start in that single crochet right above it. So, right here's where we put the three. Go right up to that single crochet. And then start your yarn there. Chain one. Go back into that same stitch and single crochet and then we're going to put one single crochet over 25 stitches just like we did before with this down here so we did the first one the second one and keep going till you get 25 single crochets so that's three four five It's raining really hard. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Hit my window. Alright, once you get 25 across, you should end in the stitch right above this last stitch here. So we're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we're just going to do um, four rows of one double crochet in every stitch. So I'm going to, I chained one and turn. I'm going to go right back into that very first stitch and double crochet. And then I'm going to put one double crochet in every stitch across. Just 
just one in each stitch so you'll have 25 double crochet when you get to the end of the row okay when you make when you make it to the end you have 25 stitches just chain one and turn and just repeat that again and we want to do that until we have four rows of double crochet so I'm working on my second one now so go ahead and continue working until you get your four rows of double crochet up here for the top of the apron okay once you get your four rows done there you can just clip your yarn and tie that off and then you can hide that tail and now I'm going to go around uh, the long apron part with a row of single crochet to clean it up so I got the right side of my work facing me and I'm going to start right over here so here's the right side and I'm going to start right here so I'm going to flip it up here so you guys can see it I'm going to start my yarn right there into that first stitch that um, we put three double crochets in I'm going to start it there and I'm going to chain one now we're just going to evenly space out one single crochet in, a, in every stitch down what I always kind of do to try to evenly space out is I try to put two single crochets to every double I mean I try my best to do that but that's kind of how I evenly space them out but I just want to kind of just space my single crochets out the best that I can when you're working down the side it's hard to tell where they need to go so I kind of just use the um, two singles to every double method it kind of works for me and all this is going to do is clean up these edges and make them look nice and neat. So I'm going to continue doing this all the way down until I get here to the corner. And I'll meet you right there. Okay, I've made it down here to the corner. And what I want to do is put three single crochets into the corner stitch. And what that's going to do is help you round the corner a little better and then we continue putting one single crochet in every stitch along the bottom part of the apron and you'll be able to see these stitches real well until we get to the other corner okay when you make it down here to the other corner you just want to go ahead and put three single crochets into that corner and then we'll continue working up this side working the spacing out your single crochets the best you can um, try to work two to every double if you can I know it's not the easiest this is the best you can uh, space out your single crochets until you get back up to the top till we get back up to here okay once you made it up this side you want to end by slip stitching into that first uh, stitch that we put the three double crochets into so slip stitch into that and then we can tie this off and hide that tail now we need to make two pieces like this exactly the same and then we'll put the straps on and we'll go clean these edges up too but you need two pieces made just like this okay now once you got both pieces made the same now we're going to do the straps so we want the front side of our work facing us and that would be where the edging is facing up right and we're going to start right up here at the top and we're going to work in on this side and then on this side so I'm going to start on this side first I'm going to go into the first stitch start my yarn there chain one I'm going to go back into it and single crochet and then I'm going to single crochet into the next stitch like that and then to the next stitch 
So that was three single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn. Go back into the same stitch, single crochet, and then single crochet in the next two stitches. So again, we have three single crochets. Chain one and turn. And I'm just going to repeat this three these rows of three single crochets till I get my strap. Um around six inches or so probably. I'll go ahead and keep going, or you just keep going, and I'll let you know how many total rows of these three single crochet I do. Just like that. Okay, I went ahead and did 18 rows of single crochet. You want to leave a long tail so we can sew it on. Now what we're going to do is do the other side. So we'll start three stitches in from over here. So one, two, three, start our yarn there. Chain one, go back into the same stitch, single crochet, and single crochet in the remaining two stitches. Chain one and turn, and we just do the same thing. We do 18 rows of single crochet. Now we only do these straps on one piece, and then we will sew them to the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and finish my 18 rows here of single crochet. Okay, now we're going to sew the straps on. So you want the, let's see, the right side of your work both facing out. So here's the right side. I'm going to face it down. So it's actually would be facing right side up when you looked at it. But right side, that way. This is wrong side. This is wrong side going down on top of wrong side. Right sides up. So wrong sides touching each other. Right sides both facing out. And now we will take... A yarn needle and our tails that we used and hold them together here don't twist your strap and sew it neatly to the other side over here so we use three stitches so you want to sew along those three edge stitches just make sure your strap doesn't twist and just neatly sew it on what I do. If you prefer to like slip stitch it on or something, I'm sure that would work too. But just sew it on as neatly as you can. You want to do both sides the same way. like that and you just kind of weave your tail in oh my hands are in the way underneath the strap and then go ahead and sew on the other side the same way okay I got my straps sewed on so now we're gonna start I'm gonna make this the back of my work where I sewed the straps on because you can tell where they got sewed on in the front and you can't so much on the front so start on the back we're gonna go around the inside here and up the inside of both that strap and then along the front and up the inside of this strap with single crochet to clean up the edges so I'm just gonna start right here in this stitch by the strap
and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go back into that same stitch single crochet and I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch here along the front top of the apron this is going to clean up all these edges we're almost done finally huh <laughs> I don't know about you but it took me a long time And then when we get to the side of our strap, we just want to work down it to clean up the side edges of the strap. So, I'm going to go into my last stitch here before the strap. Remember the stretch, strap took three stitches to sew it onto. Now I'm just going to jump over here to the side of the strap. Just grab a stitch and single crochet like that and then I'm going to just kind of evenly space out my single crochets up the strap here you can kind of tell where they go kind of like at the end of the row but we kind of put like a little hole there for Okay, I've made it down here, and remember again, we use three stitches for the strap, so one, two, three. You want to make sure you don't go into any of those. Just go to the next one, right, right here. You can see I put a single crochet into that, so go to the next one so you don't. That way it helps hold the strap on better. Now I'm just going to continue again across the front, and then back up the other side of the strap, or back up the side of the other strap, right here and then I'll meet you where we started okay I've made it back to the beginning and just go ahead and end with a slip stitch into your first single crochet not the chain one but the first single tie that off hook your yarn hide that tail okay we got one more thing we need to do still we need to go along I still got the right side of my work facing me we need to go single crochet up this side and then up this side to clean up any of those edges. So we're just going to basically do the same thing. Let's see. I'm going to start right here. I want the right side of your work facing you. I'm going to start in this same stitch here that this chain is in right there and I'm going to do a chain one now I'm going to jump into the next stitch and I'm going to work evenly work two single crochets up the side of these doubles and then when I get to the strap you'll be able to tell where one single crochet needs to be and then back down two single crochets to each of these doubles so I'm going to jump over. I'm not going to go back into that same stitch and single crochet. I'm just Now I'm just going to evenly space out my single crochets here <clears throat> up the sides of these doubles. And just, this kind of makes all the edges look a lot cleaner anyways, I think. Especially if you're going to sell your project. And now kind of work up the strap here. Clean up the other side of the strap's edges.
and kind of start working back down this uh, right here, the sides of these doubles. Sometimes it's hard to see. Now I'm going to end with a slip stitch and right here where the chain starts or this uh, tie starts. Now I'm going to clip this off, hide that tail, and I'm going to do the same thing I just did over here on this side. Okay, once you get done with your apron, you want to put the right side facing you. Let's see if I can find my right side here. I'll look at it here. And then it just attaches. I don't have a lot of space, so I'm going to pull out my camera a bit like this. This goes on it, the back, so the front and the back look at the same. And then these tie on the sides, just a quick tie. Now, I, mean, I don't didn't make them long enough to tie in a bow. I wanted them to be kind of just hanging like that. And then you do the other side and that is it. That is all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have hundreds of them. And you can check me out on bagadaycrochet.com and on Bagaday Crochet on Facebook. I'll put links to all that stuff below in the description box. And remember, if you did like this video, I would appreciate uh, if you could maybe share it on Facebook or Pinterest. But that's it. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, have a good day.